researchers uncovered a so-called false store inside a tomb believed to be a portal into the Egyptian underworld in a major ancient Egypt breakthrough. The underworld, known as the Duat, was a central tenet of ancient Egyptian life, and played a vital role in the way people lived their lives. Egyptians believed that after you died your spirit passed through Duat in order to reach Osiris, the dead king of the underworld. The practice of building tombs and mummification was, as a result, extremely important to the Egyptians, it not only protected your soul but offered a chance to store relics to help you on your journey to Duat. Tutankhamun, the boy king, is a perfect example of this, having over 5,000 relics stored in his tomb, including the mummified remains of his prematurely deceased daughters that would, the Egyptians believed, have helped him defeat evil spirits and demons along the way. Earlier this year, a team of Egyptologists, led by Ahmed Zikri, discovered a rare old kingdom tomb with an exciting door to what they believed symbolized the underworld found inside. The find was documented during the Smithsonian Channel's documentary, Tomb Hunters, Tomb of the Pyramid Judge, in a stand, a lone clip posted to YouTube titled, Fascinating Structure Inside Ancient Tomb, False Door to the Underworld. The Old Kingdom was a dynamic period of Egyptian history, dating from around 2649 to 2130 BC. Up until the discovery of the tomb, most of the team's finds had come from much later in Egypt's history. Breaking through into the tomb, on the far wall, a set of perfectly preserved painted inscriptions adorned the wall. One of the researchers said, look how beautiful this is. Look how fresh this is. As if the artist just finished it today. Honestly, this is amazing. The inscriptions had a prominent position in the center of the tomb and covered a type of panel called a false door, as the narrator noted, a magical gateway to the afterlife, in order for the soul, known as Ba, to move on to the afterlife and eventually return, the Egyptians believed. A portal was needed that allowed for travel between the two worlds. Aliyah Ismail, an Egyptologist, told the documentary, a false door is very important, it was where the Ba could move between the realm. It's the gate to freedom. The doorways discovered were highly decorated to represent the essence of the owner. Ms. Ismail continued, it would have the person's titles, name, and image. Everything about that person that they could cram. In that small space they would. Mr. Zikri was able to find the identity of the tomb's owner through the various images painted on the door, which showed Pinamas alongside his wife and children, including a portrait of a daughter clinging to her mother's clothes. One title revealed his status in the Old Kingdom, as he is named as a royal acquaintance. Mrs. Smile explained, the title royal acquaintance was definitely used for someone who was close to the king, someone who would have been from the king's closest circle. So it would have been an advisor, a minister, a very high-ranking government official. In the old kingdom, pharaohs had absolute power and unlimited wealth, and were vital connections to have in the afterlife. Mr. Zikri said, everybody in this time wanted to be near to the king. When he wrote in the tomb that the king knows me, for him it's like a passport to get easily into the second life without any problems. The pharaohs themselves went to great lengths to ensure they too made safe journeys to the underworld. As mentioned, King Tutankhamun filled his tomb full of relics, hoping that they would each play a role in his voyage. Talking about the mummified remains of his daughters, today known as 317A and 317B, Professor Salim Ikram, an Egyptologist at the American University in Cairo told Smithsonian's documentary, Secrets, Tut's last mission, there was such a high mortality rate for infants and children in the ancient world that it's not surprising, that they died prematurely. But it is extraordinary to have them carefully mummified, wrapped up, cocooned, put in these coffins and placed in their father's tomb. The documentary's narrator noted, the tiny mummies are an incredibly rare discovery. Dr. Joyce Tilsley, an authority on ancient Egypt, suggested that the girls being buried by Tut symbolized the female role as protector in society, and would have been seen as active participants in their father's journey into the next life.